I'm Andrew Phillips and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a product review on this product here called Flex Tape. We're going to put it to the ultimate test and see if it stands up to what they claim it can do. Let's get started. We have this dresser drawer here and I'll show you what's going on. It's pretty much broken off here. Tried wood glue, doesn't hold it. We're going to take some of this Flex Tape. I'm going to clean the inside here and then we're going to go ahead and apply a piece wrapping around this corner and let's see if that holds it. You can see I went ahead, I cleaned all in here. So now I'm gonna go ahead and take this piece that I've cut of flex tape right here. We still have the plastic backer on it. You don't wanna take that off. If you take that off early, it can stick on itself and it's pretty much once it's bound on there, you're gonna have a heck of a time pulling it off. So what we'll do now is then we can start peeling the backer off. So I'm gonna actually work it, and as we apply it, we'll be peeling it as we do that. You don't wanna take it all off at one time, because as I said, you're gonna have an issue with it sticking on itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this back, and we're gonna start along here, and then wrap around that corner, and then we'll see how this thing holds up. So we'll take that, and apply it right here, and I'm going to go ahead and you want to press it on nice and firm. And then for this part, we want to make sure that we have a nice strong bond here. Work it in and then we'll peel the backer off. Press it right in that corner real good. Okay. You can see there, it's pretty tight. We're going to go ahead and close it, make sure that everything is working good on it. Tuck it in nice there in that corner as well, and then give it a try. Holds it perfect. Nice and solid. Great. Next thing I want to do is I want to kind of do a water test. We see a lot of commercials and reviews where people show it being applied underwater and aquarium busted and putting it in there and all that stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drill a hole out in this bucket. Then we're going to fill it. We're going to apply the flex tape underwater. Then we're going to take a black marker and mark a water line. We're going to let it sit for 24 hours and see if it does go down at all and see if it really does adhere underwater and then whether it holds when it's filled with water. So let me go ahead and drill that and we'll go ahead and get that set up to test that next. We're filling it up now, and we'll see the water start coming out. I have the piece of um, flex tape cut, enough that'll cover that, and we'll see now the water starting to come out right here through that hole. You can see it here trickling down. I'm gonna turn it back a little bit, and then I'm gonna get a different camera angle so you can see exactly what it's gonna do. I'm going to go ahead and remove the backer from the flex tape. There we go. We're going to turn the bucket. You can clearly see the water coming out. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see the inside. I'm going to take it in, slap it on. 
It is on the inside. However, it's not adhe as adhering like they make it appear. So let's get a close up here and I'll show you what we're dealing with. Here it is here and you can see the water level. That's where I applied it. And it is adhering, but it's not, I don't know, on the commercials they make it seem like it adheres better. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue filling it up with water. We're gonna let it sit all night. We're gonna put a black line marking it. And then we're gonna let it sit for 24 hours and see if anything leaks out or if it really does not hold underwater. That's the water line that we're gonna put for the water level. So let's go ahead and fill it, and then we're gonna let it sit. It does look like it is starting to adhere, pressing down on it a little bit more, make sure that it's got a tight bond. Um, when I first put it in, it was sliding around, but it looks like once the, the adhesive caught, yeah, it looks like it's on there. All right. So let's put it to the test now and see if it is all that they claim. So we'll fill it up to that water level. We'll check and make sure it's not leaking. And then we'll be back to revisit it in 24 hours and see how it did, see if anything went down or what the results were. You can see right there where the water line is. Let's turn the bucket around, see what it's doing on this side. And let me move the camera so you can see it. There's our hole, nothing leaking out right now. A Little bit there, but that's from when we first put it in. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that off. Uh, looks like a little might still be coming out. I'm going to go ahead and push down a little bit on the flex tape, make sure it's really tight, and then we'll be back in 24 hours to see how it does. It's been 24 hours. You can see right here. I'll get a little bit closer in there. But uh, it went down roughly about, about an inch. So it did leak. It did not hold it completely. If we come out here on the outside of the container, you can see it's still trickling down a little bit on the side. It's not wet in here, so it's just a very slow leak. I mean, you figure this has been 24 hours, and that's what we're looking like right there. I'm going to go ahead and dump the water out, and we're going to take a look at the patch and see how the adhesive stayed on there. I know in the infomercial for it, they showed somebody just slapping it on underneath the aquarium, and it's sticking and all that stuff. I didn't really see it do that as they showed, had a little bit of an issue as we saw getting the adhesive to stick. Once we had it on there, it did slow down the leak. And as you can see there, it did um, drain very slowly, but it did still leak. So let's drain it and take a look at it. Yeah, it did not. I could, well, it actually did stick. Some of the edges here, it did not. But the actual patch itself, I mean, you figure this was applied underwater. And obviously this surface was not prepped, but then again, they don't show that on the commercial either. The guy just slaps it on there, so that's what I was trying to emulate. So it did actually stick to it. It did hold it somewhat, not 100% as they make it seem, but it did hold it a lot. As you saw, it only went down an inch with a hole about the size of the tip of my finger right there. Um... So not, was, not what I was expecting, but not as bad as any other kind of adhesive or tape that you would apply directly underwater. So that's it for this water test. Let's go ahead now and uh, run another one. The next thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to test it on one of these inflatable play centers. I have this one here. It's actually um, kind of like a hamster wheel. The kids go inside and play on it. It has a leak. I did another video where I actually used the vinyl patch kit that's made for these type of devices here, these inflatable things. You can check out that video via the link above. But for the sake of this video and to test this flex tape, we're going to go ahead and remove that patch and then we're going to patch it with a piece of this flex tape and see how that holds up. I've seen online some people claiming it works, so we're going to put that to the test. Let me get a close up here and I'll show you exactly what we're dealing with and we'll go ahead and patch it.
Here's the patch here that I put on. Let's see if we can get that off. This is a, there we go. It's a vinyl patch from a vinyl patch kit. And you can see what we have here is this rip. It's a pretty good size rip. Come a little closer here so you can see it. Right here. What I'm going to have to do though is clean up the adhesive from this vinyl patch kit. So I'm going to clean that up real good and then we'll be back to put the flex tape on it and see how that holds up. Everything has been cleaned, wiped it down with alcohol real good, let it dry. I went ahead and cut a patch here of this tape that will fit right over that spot. And I'm going to get a close up as I apply it, but we're going to kind of run it along the seam, but not across the seam because those usually don't work out too well when you try to tape or patch along seams like that. So I'm taking it right up to that line, but I'll get a close up now and I'll show you um, as we apply it. And this is what I'm talking about. We have this little edge right here, but the actual hole is here. So this is gonna patch, we'll put it right along there. So the hole is here. We have all this area for it to adhere properly and really get a good bond. I'm gonna go ahead and peel the backer off and we'll go ahead and put that on. Press it on nice and firm and then we'll go ahead and inflate it and try it out and see how it holds up. If you're dealing with a bigger piece, you don't wanna remove the whole backer. What you would do is just peel it back a little bit and then as you're applying it, then work it off. But in this case here, it's not that big. Here's our hole here. So we're going to apply it here. You want to make sure that you really stretch out the vinyl or the rubber of the inflatable play center that you're dealing with. That way you don't have any crimps. And then what we'll do is just kind of start peeling that off as we work it on. That way it's not sticking over onto itself and turning into a mess. This stuff is very, very, very sticky. So if it does roll onto itself, you're going to have a real problem. So you want to make sure that you kind of work it slow. That looks really good. So we have it here. And what we'll do now is just really firmly press it on. Get a real good bond there. It looks really good. I mean, I'll, I'll show up close, but really good bond we got here. excited to inflate this thing and see how it, how it holds up. Yeah, looks really good. Get a close up. All nice and firm. You can see, if I get on an angle, there's the, the tear underneath there, nice and sealed together. We have it nice here. Make sure none of the corners or edges are coming up. Everything is tightly down. So we're good to go. Let's go ahead and fill it up and see what happens. I just went ahead and inflated this. It's all ready to go, and the patch is actually looking perfect. I'll get a close-up, but no you know, air bubbles pushing it off, anything like that. It's nice and solid. Unfortunately, it's raining outside, so I can't test it outside, so I'm going to have my daughter roll around here in the garage, jump around in it, and put some pressure on it so we can test it. But let me get a close-up first so you can see how the patch looks. Here it is. A couple little air bubbles here, but that was when I applied it. I tried to work them off, but... Other than that, you can see it's very solid here. Looks really good. So let me have her play around in this a little bit, and then we'll see how it holds up. She finished up jumping around in here, and the patch actually looks very good. Looks very good, still nice and solid on here. A little bit of the air bubbles kind of pushed a little bit, but nothing major. I don't think it would be any any issue, but 
this thing really stayed stuck on there better than any other tapes or even a lot of patches would do. So I'm, I'm impressed with that. I think as far as patching, I think that did a really good job. But I'll show you up close what I'm talking about, how a little bit of air got in there. Here's the patch. You can see right here is the tear. And a little bit of air starting to work its way down. If it does connect with this one, it could possibly leak through there or work its way all the way down. But what I'm going to do is just kind of push this down a little bit better, work those out, and I think we'll be good. But you can see here, this thing is really tight, still on here, nice and solid. And because of this tape having a little bit of like a, a rubbery kind of flexibility to it, I think it'll be fine. So I like the way that it held that. For this next and final test, we're going to be testing the actual strength of flex tape. So I have some dumbbells here with some uh, weight plates. We're going to keep adding to it and see how much weight this thing can actually hold with, before it actually tears. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap it around the handle. We're going to probably have maybe about 12 to 20 inches to hold on to. I'm going to hold it above this wooden piece here. We're going to raise it up in the air and just kind of give it a little jolt and see how it holds up. And then if it passes, we'll keep adding weight to it until it eventually breaks, and then we'll see what it was able to hold. So let me go ahead and start getting that ready so we can test that. We're starting off here. We have a five pound bar and then five pounds of plates, two, two and a half. So we're looking at 10 pounds. Let's go ahead and check. Obviously no problem at all. We're gonna upgrade this to 15 pounds. No problem again. Two, two and a half plates on here. So now we're looking at 20 pounds, five pound bar, and 15 pounds of weight. We have a five, 10, and then two, two and a half. So 15, so 20 pounds. Still very good. So now we are at 25 pounds. See how that holds. No problem at all. It's not feeling like it's stretching or anything. All right, so now we're looking at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So now 30 pounds. Nothing, nothing at all. And we're looking for it to stretch down here where it's more of a single layer because up here I've doubled it up to tape it onto itself. All right, so now we're looking at 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35 pounds now on here. See how that goes? Nothing. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get bigger plates because I'm not going to just be piling on these little ones. I'm going to get some bigger ones. We'll be right back. Went ahead and added the 10 pound plate so we could make more space. So what we're looking at now is 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 40 pounds right now. Let's see how it handles it. Nothing. Doesn't feel like it's stretching or giving anything. Let's up it again. All right, so now we're looking at 10, 20, 30, 45. See how that goes. Still good. All right, so 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50 pounds here. We'll take a look. Perfect. Let me make sure nothing's stretching here. No, doesn't look like anything stretching.
That is very good. I'm impressed. All right. So I went ahead, added more plates on here. So we've added 20 pound plates now. So we have 20, 40, 45, 50, 55 pounds here. Let's see how it holds up now with that. Still holding, did kind of feel like there might have been a little bit of a stretch in there, but we're at 55 pounds. So let's go ahead and up it. All right, so we have two, four, 45, 50, 55, 60 pounds. Let's go ahead and give it a shot now. Wow, still good. And as I already mentioned, we're looking for it to fail down here, not up here, because this is doubled up, but here's where you've got the single layer just wrapping. And uh, might have stretched a little bit, but we'll see. So let's take it up a notch. All right, so right now we've got two, four, 40, 50, 60, 65 pounds. Here we go. Still holding, but as you can see, it's starting to pull a little bit to one side. I think it's stretching out a little bit. We have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90 pounds. I didn't think it was going to go this far, but here we go. 90 pounds. Ready? Stretching it a little bit, but it's holding on. I'm going to take it up a notch, and then if it passes that, we're just going to call it a day because this is going to go on forever. So what I have here... And I'll show you what the tape is starting to do. It is starting to stretch a little bit, which is, I think, safe to say that it's kind of being put to the test. So what I have now, we have 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90, 95 pounds. Let's see how this holds up. Here we go. Still holding on, but it is starting to stretch. I'm just going to wrap it up with that, and let's say that this thing can take... 100 plus because we're at 95 it's still not ripping stretching a little bit so it's safe to say if i throw another five pounds get it up to 100 it's still going to pass that so it looks like this thing can definitely the strength of it with keep in mind it is stretching a little bit but we're up to pretty much 100 pounds and this thing's still holding on so very impressed with that that wraps up this strength part of the test this pretty much concludes this product review video of the flex tape product just kind of recapping what we did, and I'm going to kind of rate them within each one that we did. For starters, we did the bonding of it and how well it bonds things together. Take a look. Now for that, with a little bit of back and forth use on that drawer, it did stretch a little bit. Nothing major. It still bonded it together. It's not coming off, but it did give a little bit. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it an 8 for its ability to bond. The next thing that we did is we did the water test. Take a look. And with that, unfortunately, I was a little bit disappointed. So on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give it a 5 because it did adhere underwater, which is better than any other product I've ever dealt with as far as tape. However, it didn't properly seal the leak as they show in the infomercial, so I felt that was a little misleading. It did leak a little bit. And as mentioned already, after you know pressing it down a little bit more, I did empty out the bucket, pushed it down a little bit more later on. Probably maybe another coat on there would probably help, but for the initial test, unfortunately, a 5 out of 10 is what I give it for its underwater capabilities. The next thing that we did is we tested it for patching, and we patched an inflatable play center, and that can be used on pools, uh, bouncy houses, activity centers, anything like that that's inflatable with vinyl, rubber, things of that nature. But take a look. For that, I'm going to give it a probably an 8 out of 10. The reason I didn't give it a full 10, because it looks like a little bit of air did come in there. I'm going to have to work it out a little bit. So with a lot of use, you might have a little bit of a problem, have to go back and touch it up. But for the most part, it did stick to it. It doesn't look like it's coming off at all. But like I said, it looks like the air could be pushing through slightly where the crack was. So I give it an 8 out of 10. Lastly, we did the strength test where we were adding weight to it. 
Here's a quick glimpse of that. And as I mentioned during that thing, it looks like this thing would have probably held up past 100 pounds, which is extremely impressive. So on the strength test, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. I was very impressed. I thought it was gonna fail in the 40s and 50s and not be going all the way up to 90s and 100. So I was very, very impressed with that. So overall for this product, um, based off the things that, that we did uh, grade it on and its performance and stuff, I would say on a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna go ahead and probably rate this product between a seven and an eight, I think is fair. The underwater part, unfortunately, in my opinion, really hurt that. I was expecting it to do better, but that pretty much uh, wraps up this product review. I hope this video was informative. I hope it answered any questions you might have about the product. Please uh, send me any questions, comments. I would love to hear from you. As always, I appreciate all the support. Please like this video, subscribe to this channel. I'll see you next time.